Hi and welcome back to my film and TV channel, our regular look at what's on UK Freeview TV, what's new and what's returning series etc. On uh, week commencing the 8th of October, Saturday the 8th of October to uh, Friday the 14th of October, yes. So, uh, yep, so, soon be Halloween. You know, I've noticed a few on the films, there's a few little supernatural horror films coming out at the moment and uh, we know why, as soon as it turns to October, they all happen, don't they? So we're going to do it with the, in the company of TV Choice today. I do have a subscription to TV Times at the moment, but this week's edition hasn't arrived. So well done, Royal Mail, as usual. So we'll have a look at TV Choice today. Please, if you are new to the channel, enjoy what I try and do. I try and inform and entertain, especially with the TV, get this TV guy to let you in on any personal things I know when I'm going through this or things I like to do, etc. So please, if you do enjoy it, please push that subscribe button, push the bell notifications. Much appreciated. Let me know what you're looking forward to watching or you've been watching, you've really enjoyed. And of course, if you do have a little bit of time, a bit of a, bit of a cold today, if I do have the odd cough, I've not been too bad today actually, but uh, please forgive me. And you'll make an old, uh, slightly poorly film, watch if any happy, and just give us a thumbs up if you, if you enjoy what I'm doing. That'd be great if you can give that. It's nice to get views, but it's nice to get thumbs up, isn't it? So let's start. Let's start at the very beginning. Let's start Saturday. Saturday. The 8th of October. BBC 2, 10.30, but like a bit of Joan Armour trading? Um, not particularly. She's at the Asylum Chapel, a performance by the singer-songwriter from 2021, so last year, following the release of her album Consequences. So you like a bit of Miss Armour trading, that's on. Same with Saturday, the 8th of October. Channel 5, yes, I quite liked. Do you remember the old um, To The Manor Born? Yes, well, it's a special on Penelope Keith. Yes, I quite like Penelope Keith. Uh, a prof profile of the actress best known for her classic sitcom roles as Margot Ledbetter in The Good Life, another good series, and Audrey Forbes Hamilton into The Manor Born. So that's Sassy Channel 5, 8.40. On to Sunday. On to Sunday, we go over to ITV, 10.50. We've got the bottom line. Yes, uh, I think the clue's in the title. Filmmaker Louise Coleman investigates the popularity of Brazilian butt lift surgery. There you go. A Brazilian butt lift surgery, part of Fresh Cuts, untold stories from new directors for Black History Month. Yes, I can have your ass with that one, to be honest with you, but we'll see. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, Channel 4, 11 o'clock. It is an adult, this thing is, actually, so there might be the odd, the odd sort of uh, swear word, please. Uh, it's not for kids, that's for sure, but I'm not too over the top. Channel 4, 11 o'clock. We've got, uh, yeah, if you like... He's sort of foreign language stuff, subtitle stuff. Walter Presents, of course, which is a lot of Scandi stuff, but this is slightly different. Red Light, this is called. It's one of ten, a new series. Uh, Lux, a Dutch drama about three women, a brothel owner, a cop, and a singer. All went into it. Yeah, it sounds like a start of a joke, that, doesn't it? A, bro a brothel owner, a cop, and a singer drawn into the world of prostitution, human, human trafficking with Carice Van Houten in Flemish and Dutch. That the full series is available on all four. So I don't really get time to watch these subtitle series, 10 episodes, because I'd have to concentrate. But if you, if you can speak Flemish and Dutch, you're sorted. You can watch it anyway. Channel 5 on Sunday, 8 o'clock. Argos, there we go. Uh, apparently all's wonderful and fantastic working at Argos. How do they really do it, this ass? For decades, Argos has been a fixture of UK's high street, seemingly selling everything. Yeah, I think the first Argos I remember going in was probably about 1975, 1976 in Manchester, around about that area, late 70s, in the Arndale Centre in Manchester, if you know Manchester at all. Uh, seemingly selling everything, ex-employees, industry insiders and retail experts reveal what really goes on behind the counter at the real jail retail giant. So are they, are they all getting on well? I don't know. Nine o'clock is the return of 10 years youngest. This is one of three. Cheryl Healy hosts a show in which experts transform people's looks and lives. I always think, I always like them photos where they... They show a photo of someone, they look really bedraggled anyway, and then they show a picture later, they're all made up. And uh, that's a little, to me, it's a little bit like that. You know, if they, if they actually took the original person, perhaps they'd give little two teeth jobs and different things. But I mean, even if they'd sort of made the original person look a little less frumpy, um, it wouldn't look as impressive. So that's what my opinion of. On the odd one I've seen, I've not seen many of them, so I might be being a little bit unfair. 
Same with Sunday the 9th of October. On really at 10 o'clock, we've got the Baby Killer Conspiracy. Uh, a bit darker, this one. Episodes 1 and 2 of 6. Women convicted of killing more than one of their infants. I know people will watch that sort of stuff. Uh, yeah, it's not, not my sort of thing, unfortunately, but if, if that's if that's what you like to watch, that or not like, what's the word? It's not like, is it? But if you, if you, if you do watch these things, um, uh, you know, that's there. That's there. I'm not going to say I'll be watching that, that's for sure. Monday the 10th of October, 9 o'clock on BBC One. Our Dementia Choir sings again with Vicky McClaw. One of two, this. Four years ago, Line of Duty's Vicky formed a choir for people with dementia. It's been scientifically proved that the power of music and song can change the lives of those living with the condition. But a lack of the lack of action from those in charge means Vicky and the choir are now taking matters into their own hands. Yes, so, uh, yes, so obviously not a lot of official interest in that. So Vicky, Vicky's doing the business by the looks of it. On to BBC Two. On the 10th of October, the rise of the Nazis, yeah, the downfall, the return of the documentary, this time examining the actions of Hitler and his inner circle in the final weeks of World War II. Sort of thing, uh, I do like history, and obviously World War II and Hitler's part of history, so it's the sort of thing I will record and watch. Same with Monday, the 10th of October, 10 o'clock, Katie Price, yeah, I used to quite like Katie Price, obviously worn and wears a little thin nowadays, but Trauma and Me. A model and reality TV star explores her mental health and post-traumatic stress disorder diagnosis. Talks about events that saw her crash a car and narrowly escape prison. Okay. And, yeah, I think the pick of the week for me as well uh, this week, uh, a three-episode new new uh, drama, factory, fact-based drama, Channel 5, 9 o'clock, Maxine. Very gritty, very powerful. Based on the horrific murder of two schoolgirls in Soham in 2002, Maxine Carr moves to Soham in Suffolk for a fresh start with her boyfriend, Ian Huntley. On a weekend visit to her mum in Grimsby, she wakes up to the news of the disappearance of schoolgirls Holly Wells and Jessica Chapman. And when school janitor Ian admits to police that he was the last to see the girls, Maxine makes a fateful decision. So that is on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday night. I'll be doing a review of that, guys, and putting that out there if that's of interest to you. On to Tuesday, 11th of October, 9 o'clock, BBC One. Reported missing, the return of another documentary following attempts to find missing people. Concerned mum Becky calls South Yorkshire Police when her 18-year-old son Matthew fails to return home from college on the evening bus. BBC Two, 11th of October, 8 o'clock, the Great Northern Garden Build, one of two, a look behind the scenes at the RHS Garden Bridgewater in Salford, yeah, I've not been that one, I've not been, any, it's near me, but I've not been, uh, which finally opened its gates in May 2021, and has become one of the most popular attractions in the North West, there you go, BBC Two, staying with the Tuesday, and um, we're going over to BBC Three, yeah, BBC Three, 9 o'clock, new Virgil Abloh, how to be both, <coughs> excuse me, documentary exploring the life of the designer. So you want to learn a little bit about, more about them. BBC 4, 9 o'clock, new Storyville, beneath the surface, how a group of journalists expose the troubled history for in, indigenous Sami women, men and children in Norway, revealing generations of race-based race negligence, abuse and suffering. <coughs> excuse me, guys. Sorry about this cold, I'm just kind of shaking at the moment. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, my apologies. Um, bear with me. On to Wednesday, the 12th of October, the Elon Musk show. Yeah, he's not his own show, I think it's a documentary. Family members, employees, close friends, and enemies tell the story of the entrepreneur's journey to become the world's richest man. That's on BBC Two now. I don't know a lot about Elon Musk. I have heard the name, but I know absolutely nothing about him whatsoever. Do I really want to know much about him? Probably not. BBC One, nine o'clock, ambulance, one of six. So that's back for a new series. Cameras observe the stuff, the stuff, the staff of North East Ambulance Service at work. Multiple crews in Darlington respond to a Category One call, etc., etc. You know what you're getting with ambulance, don't you? BBC Two, nine o'clock, T. S. Eliot into the wasteland, an exploration of T. S. Eliot's The Wasteland in its centenary year. 
uncovering for the first time the hidden personal story behind Eliot's creation of his cele celebrated poem. Never really been into poems, I'll be honest with you. I quite like some of the war poems. That was that Owen, Owen war poems, but yeah, not my sort of thing. If you like your TV awards, ITV, 13th of October, Thursday, 8 o'clock, the National Television Awards with Joel Domit hosting those. <coughs> and Channel 4, 10 o'clock, I hate you. One of six. No, 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 I hate you. This is this is the programme. Uh, Canada, comedy about two female flatmates in their mid-twenties and their intense, messy friendship. Yeah, I think messy and women in flats is probably goes together, doesn't it? Uh, from what my, from my knowledge, anyway. On staying with the 13th of October, 9 o'clock on ITVB. ITVB, Hannah Spirit, Me and Breast Implants. Hannah investigates concerns around breast implant illness. Yeah, so a bit more serious on that one. And on to the last day of the week, Friday. 7.30, Unreported World on Channel 4, Children for Sale. USA's underage sex trade with more reported cases of child sex trafficking in Houston than any other US city. Yusra Elbegir reports on efforts to rescue teens from its seedy underworld. Yeah, a lot of powerful stuff on dark stuff on this week. And Channel 5, 14th of October, Friday, Queens of Pop from Aretha to Whitney, exploring the achievements of some of the biggest female stars to blaze a trail in the music business, from Billie Holiday's groundbreaking Strange Fruit to Whitney Houston becoming the first artist ever to score seven consecutive number ones. So that's of interest to you. And finally, to finish off, we're going over to Five Star. Yes, Five Star, Friday the 14th of October. And if you like Car Pound Cops, I've never watched it in my life, but I'm sure you may have done. There's a new series of that on, on 8 o'clock on Five Star. There you go, guys. As I said, probably that Maxine is the highlight for me. I will be doing a review of that, of course. Let me know what you're looking forward to or you've been watching. My apologies for the coughing and spluttering. Uh, yes, yeah, so I've... A bit of a cold at the moment, and I'm all right for about five or ten minutes, but I do start to struggle as you can see at certain times. Thanks for watching, guys. Please, until we meet again, I only ask one thing, don't I? Please stay stay safe and warm at the moment. I say the, the rain's bashing the window here. Please, please stay safe, stay safe, stay safe, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.